What's up everybody? It is Wednesday, February 8th. All right. A um, couple of funny things I want to talk about. First of all, before I get into anything, I want to thank many of you. I sent out an email yesterday to my subscribers that said like, I don't know, there were a couple of bozos who wrote like bad reviews about me on Google. Just, it was two, not a lot. They said I was some kind of scam artist or something like that or my courses were bullshit. And uh, I asked some of you to just comment, you know, like uh, just send your impressions of what my courses were or, or what the MMT trader and uh, I want to thank all of you for doing that because uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And uh, I do appreciate all of you and I love all of you. So here's something very, very funny that I want to, I want to talk about. Today, this morning, <laughs> a friend of mine sent me a clip from, it was just like a, a screenshot from ChatGPT, I'm sure a lot of you know about this right now, it's that kind of artificial intelligence thing. Somebody asked ChatGPT, when will the market crash? And you know what ChatGPT said? February 15th. I'm gonna put it up here right now on the, on the screen. February 15th, folks, I've been telling you about February 15th. I don't know, it's like chat GPT reading MMT Trader? Or watching this stuff? I mean, it didn't give the same reason as, you know, what I uh, have been explaining. That That's the peak in the fiscal flows for the month. But I just thought it was incredible that chat GPT... Um, highlighted February 15th as the day the market's going to go down. So, anyway, I just, I, I thought that was hilarious. I thought that was hilarious. Here, if you want to know my opinion of chat GPT, and I know that artificial intelligence is going to get uh, very, very more intelligent as time goes on, and it's almost kind of scary, but right now, I consider it to be like garbage in, garbage out. That's an expression that we use like when you, I don't know, when you program or when you um, make assumptions about things or, or, or when you, um, you know, uh, create algorithms. If the information you put in is is bad, is garbage, then what's going to come out is garbage. Okay, like I saw another thing like a few weeks ago on chat GPT where, I, I don't know, I think they were talking about, you know, something about monetary policy and it spit out the same, you know, the same wrong shit as, as we know. Like, Okay, like the way the Fed tames interest rate, uh, tames inflation is by raising interest rates, uh, and we know that's wrong. All right, it's like the whole thing was wrong. So, like for me right now personally, and, and I've used it in a very, very limited sense, but Chat GPT is garbage in, garbage out. Like who, who's providing the the knowledge, the information, and, and that is, you know, it's their bias, it's their belief, it's their understanding, whatever. Okay, like, we know that economics, if you've been following me for any length of time, and I've been going through all this, and not, not only, like, my, it's not even like my opinions or my viewpoints, but I've been showing you how these people are so wrong, and it, this is, that's mainstream economics. That, that's taught in the highest universities. Okay? I went to University of Pennsylvania. I was in the Wharton School of Business. I mean, that's taught in the highest universities. So, whatever. 
Anyway, today the market was down. Uh, we're coming into that period of the peak fiscal flows for the month. We're going into, and I hate repeating myself every day, and I, you know, like I love to come up with like new material every day, and I try. But uh, like I said in the past, sometimes it's just not new material. It's like every day is not necessarily something new. It, it kind of, it might be like a slight, you know, just like a slight alteration of what we already know. But um, so February fifteenth, that's when uh, fiscal flows will peak this month. We got March is going to be um, quarterly corporate tax payment. We got April fifteenth, the dreaded April fifteenth. But what I've been saying over the last few videos, if you've been paying attention to me, is that I think this year could be less negatively impactful compared to last year. And that's because this year we know the Fed is slowing down. They got like basically one more rate hike coming up in March, 25 basis points. It's not like they're first starting out with the rate hikes and that and the monetarist zombies are going to start freaking out and just like shitting their pants. Speaking of shitting our pants, I didn't mention this, but next week, Friday, I'm leaving for Washington State because on uh, the 18th and the 19th, I have enrolled in a wilderness survival training course a 24-hour wilderness survival training course is taught by a guy who was a former uh, military guy who was a former special forces he's a he uh, he has a he runs these courses in in survival training uh, so I'll be out in Washington uh, no, by the way no, we're gonna sleep out no tents I'm gonna be only a tarp I had to buy a bunch of stuff right a tarp and um, it should be pretty cool man so I'm looking forward to it so right now like I really like even though that has nothing to do with uh, training or the markets or anything like that or trading I think it's really important to test yourself to put yourself into uncomfortable situations you know like if you've been following me for any length of time you know, I wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning, I work out. We have a gym here in my building, I work out, but then I go run. You know, it doesn't matter what the temperature is, I run shirtless. It doesn't matter if it's snowing, it doesn't matter if it's raining. Uh, I, I like the cold. I don't like the cold, but I use the cold as therapy. Okay, it does. There's absolutely benefits uh, metabolism wise uh, physiologically to your body with the cold and I use that I believe in staying strong okay I'm gonna be 66 years old in April and I believe that staying strong is not it's not just about cardio it's about staying strong and staying fit like it's much harder to kill the body if you're strong that's not saying I, I, you know, maybe I'll develop cancer. I don't know. Cancer was in my, uh, in my family. It's probably in my DNA. I don't know. I could go. I'm not afraid to go. But I like to stay strong. I like to stay fit. I like to challenge myself. And I think after this, I, I'm thinking about this. Guys, I want to ask you something. I'm thinking about this. Because after I do this survival training thing coming up next week, I'm thinking about doing an MMT trader survival training thing somewhere where, you know, we push ourselves to the limit. I don't know, maybe climbing a 14,000 foot mountain, maybe staying outside, something like that. We're like, let's get over these personal limitations. Let's, I mean, you shouldn't have, and I've said this so many times in, in kind of different ways, 
not in the ways I'm saying it right now, but I don't think you should you should have you know the markets and investing impact you in a highly emotional way where you change your behavior. I want to I want to subject you guys and I always say this like subject yourself to to harsh conditions. So like when this shit happens and it's no fun, I never said, "Hey, like I love when I'm looking at my account going down." I don't say that. I say I wish I had more money to to invest. Sometimes all my uh, investable cash is, is already deployed. I wish I had more. I don't have infinite amounts of money. But it's the mental part, man. It's the mental part. So I don't know if that's going to be useful to anybody. I don't know. If, I think we could have a, a cool time if I set something like that up and some of us get together and we go and we do that and we converse and we it's kumbaya and stuff like that I, I think that could be really really cool I don't know what do you think so anyway that's what's gonna happen I don't know if that's what's gonna happen but I, that that's what I'm thinking of but what's gonna happen is I'm going on this survival training thing next Friday there might be a little bit of a interruption in the MMT trader, but uh, you'll you'll get everything. Don't worry, and I'll keep you guys up up to date, up to breast on what's going on. So yeah, that's it, man. I mean, all this shit like fucking monetary policy and I don't know. Hey, last night, if you watched the State of the Union, which I did, because I, I just like I'm tuned out. Uh, tuned out in the sense that I, I won't watch this on TV, but I, I will read and pay attention to like the proclamations and, and, and what they're intending to do and what Congress does. You know that because I tell you that stuff. But both parties, not just Biden, but both parties said, hey, no cuts to Social Security and Medicare. That doesn't mean it's not going to happen, but... It's good. It's something that I wanted to hear. So that's where we are. Anyway, love you all. Thanks for tuning in. And don't forget, please click the like and subscribe. Right now, my whole channel is really dependent on the YouTube algorithm. And, you know, you can help me by clicking the like and subscribe. See you tomorrow. Bye.